Our carports come in a variety of sizes, widths, lengths, and heights. And then you can close in different features of the carport based on your needs. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to price a carport. Simply from the home page, mouse over carports, and then select either regular prices or A-frame prices. Regular style would be the rounded corner, and the A-frame or box eave style would be a more typical house look. So if we mouse over carports, we'll, just for this example, let's click on regular prices. And then you answer the question, will you need to get a permit in your area? Let's just click no and then click on the state that you're interested in having a carport installed in. For example, Missouri. So let's say that you want a two-car carport. A 20 wide would be an excellent size, but a 22 and 24, of course, would give you more room. A 20 by 21 carport with 7 foot legs would be typical for two cars. That would give you a 9 foot 9 pH stands for peak height, as illustrated here. So from here to here it would be 7 foot, and from the, the peak height would be, I believe it was 9 foot 9 inches, yes. So the base price for that unit installed is $1,045 plus your local sales tax. If you wanted in a 12 gauge, a heavier gauge framing, it would be $100 more, illustrated here. And again, that includes installation on your level site. Now you can also add gable ends. You can add one or two. What is a gable end? Note this triangular shaped piece that fits in the front end is called a gable end. This unit is displayed without one. It also has two sides closed. One, This is one side closed, this is the other side closed, and it has one end closed in the back. Same thing with this one, but the only addition is this one also has a gable end. So you can close in each side and this would be the price in a 7 foot, it would be $175 per side to close it to the ground. This would be $585 to close the end in. Many people are surprised that the end costs quite a bit more. It's because the end doesn't have any framing in it. So in order to close it in you have to add framing. What about if I just want to add one side panel to each side. Each side panel is $75. So to add a panel to each side would be $150 for 20 long, 21 long. Be sure to check out the more info page. There's a variety of videos on here. There's uh, many questions about pricing, general questions, construction questions, anchoring questions, and ordering questions. But the key is, the answers are here on this page. So be sure to check out this, as there's a variety of questions and answers that will surely have the answers here for you. We offer 15 different colors. You can view that on this page. And you can use one color for the trim, one for the roof, and one for the sides, if you get sides. We appreciate your taking the time to view this page, and uh, one of the main pages that you really need to know about is the service area page. You can get to the service area page from the carports menu, simply enter your zip code, and you will instantly find out if we install in your area, how long would it take, and is there a trip charge to your area. The majority of this, the gray area here, there is no trip charge. But you can find out exactly how long it would take 
and weather we install in your area right here on this page. We hope that this video was informative to you and helping you to ascertain what the price is. And when you're ready to order, simply click on the order button and fill this form out. And we will contact you to secure your order and make sure it's correct. We appreciate that you're taking the time to look at this video.